Wheelbarrow, thank you for a $5 super chat. What used drone would you buy to help start a YouTube channel? Okay, first of all, don't start a YouTube channel. It's a terrible idea. Um, what I mean by that is, if your goal is to like be popular and have viewers and have subscribers and maybe make money, that's like saying I'm want to. I love to play guitar, so I want to be a, a pop musician. Your odds of success are extremely slim. Either, either you're already a professional who knows how to start a successful YouTube channel and you've decided that your next one is going to be FPV, in which case you have some chance of success, or you just want to do it for fun and that's fine too. Uh, to that first point, if you don't think that that's a thing, I disagree. 1000% if Mr. Beast woke up one morning, decided he loved FPV and decided to start an FPV related YouTube channel in a year, he'd be the biggest FPV related YouTube channel in existence because he's cracked the formula of how to be successful on YouTube. And there absolutely is a formula. And it's not a formula that anyone could write down. I mean, I guess Mr. Beast might have a master class. But like, it doesn't mean that you could do it, but it's people out there who could do it. There's people out there who know how to successfully market and shoot and film. And, and, and if they decided to turn to YouTube, they could be just as successful there as anywhere else. The reason that they don't is because there's no money in it. There's not enough money in it. The skills to make a successful YouTube channel, you would be better off using those skills on a computer channel or a car channel, bigger niches that make more money. And that's why we don't see those people in FPV very much. They're too busy doing other things with their money, their time. Um, on the other hand, if you just love flying FPV and you want to start a YouTube channel because you love YouTube, by the way, if you love flying FPV, don't start a YouTube channel. Just fly FPV. Have fun. Only start a YouTube channel if you love YouTube. <laughs> See the difference? A YouTube channel will just take time away from your ability to fly and have fun with your friends. Okay. What use drone would you buy to help start a YouTube channel? Uh, buy whatever drone you will enjoy flying the most and make content about you having a great time flying it. No one will watch that content, but no one's going to watch any of the videos you make anyway, statistically speaking. So you may as well enjoy making it. And I, I don't want to sound like I'm picking on you or being a hater. I'm just, that's the reality. Um, so since no matter, since almost no matter what you do, almost nobody is going to watch your content, at least you should enjoy making it. That's what I would say. Uh, okay. And here's the thing. If you're lucky, maybe you will get some people who watch your content. Maybe it'll turn out you're actually good at making content. Maybe it'll turn out that you are great in front of a camera and you just click with people and they love what you're doing. Is that right? Like when Bachrinder start, I'm gonna pick on Bachrinder, why not? When Bachrinder started making content, I don't think he like had experience as a content creator. Bachrinder is just a funny, charismatic, creative dude. He's just an interesting person who, when people see him, well, some of them are like, I hate this guy. But other people are like, I want more. And there's enough of those people that he got popular. That doesn't, that doesn't mean to take anything away from the work he puts in. But I don't think he became popular because he had prior experience as a content creator. He got experience as a content creator and, and, and grew and became good at it. So maybe you'll be the next Bach writer, but probably you won't. And that's okay. So just have fun. 
uh, what would I buy? I'd buy a five inch freestyle drone and I would use my YouTube channel as an excuse to go around the country and fly five inch freestyle in, in cool locations. Cause that's just what I like to do the most. Continuing on. Kim Fuse, thank you for a $2 super chat for bringing the weather guy to his knees. And by the way, if it turns out that Bach Grinder like had three YouTube channels and 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 a zine and a, a podcast and a radio show, and I just didn't know about all his media experience, then I take off everything I said back. But I don't think so. 